performance, productivity, and exceptional harvest experience. Go Harvest! Get the most out of your S-Series Combine today. Always follow safety instructions and understand all safety decals according to the operator's manual. Always use seat belts when operating the machine or riding as an observer. When parking and leaving the machine, disengage the header and separator. Move the multifunction lever to neutral and apply the parking brake. Shut off the machine, remove the key, and lock the cab. Grain cleanliness is an important quality aspect of crop harvesting. The following video will demonstrate methods to address grain cleanliness issues. If the cleanliness of the sample is not acceptable, confirm if the debris in the sample is light material such as chaff, heavy material such as cobs or sticks, or unthreshed material. The following adjustments should be made one at a time in small increments, then followed by an evaluation of the sample. If the issue is unresolved or grain quality is negatively affected, proceed to the next setting in the sequence. Observe the grain sample after each adjustment. If light material such as shaft is present in the sample, then the following adjustments can be used to resolve the issue. Begin by increasing fan speed to lift shaft so only the heavier grain falls through the sieves. Next, minimize the chaffer clearance to carry debris over the chaffer and out of the shoe. Reducing the threshing speed and increasing the threshing clearance helps to generate less fine material and reduce the shoe load. Also, operating the feed accelerator in slow speed can reduce shaft production. If heavy material such as sticks or cobs are present in the sample, use the following adjustments to address the issue. Start by minimizing the chaffer clearance. Next, minimize the sieve clearance. Then, increase the fan speed. Reduce the material load on the shoe by first decreasing the threshing speed, then increase the threshing clearance. If unthreshed material is present, the following adjustments can be made to resolve the issue. First, increase the threshing speed. Next, decrease the threshing clearance to increase threshing aggressiveness. Then, slightly minimize the sieve clearance to utilize the tailings return system. Finally, if unthreshed material is still present, insert concave covers to hold material in the threshing area to improve threshing. For more detailed information, consult the operator's manual.